the key to balancing a nuclear equation is to make sure that the sum of the superscripts on the left side is equal to the sum of the superscripts on the right side. For example, in this balanced nuclear equation, the superscripts on the left side sum up to 222, and the sum of the superscripts on the right side also sum up to 222, and that we add 218 to 4 to get 222. Similarly, the sum of the subscripts on the left side, here is 86, must equal the sum of the subscripts on the right side, in this case 84 and 2, which is 86. Here's a problem. Thorium-234 decays by beta emission. Identify the daughter nucleotide form. Every chemical and nuclear equation must be balanced. And we just described how a nuclear equation must be balanced. So, let's examine this equation. The superscript on the left side sums up to 234. Therefore, on the right side, the superscripts combined must sum up to 234. Well, in this case, we have 0, and we need to have a number with this particular radioactive particle. Well, 0 plus what will give me 234? Well, that superscript associated with this unknown must be 234. So now we can verify that 0 plus 234 equals 234. And therefore, the superscripts on both sides are balanced. The subscripts on the left side is 90. And that must equal 90 on the right side. On the right side, the subscripts, we have negative 1. And negative 1 plus what will give me 90? Well, that's going to be 91. So if I add 91 and negative 1, I get 90. So the identity of our daughter nucleotide, we look up our periodic table, and we find the atomic number of 91, because that's going to be our identity of our nucleotide, and 91 is associated with Pa, or protactinium. So what we would write here is Pa 91 and 234. So the answer would be protactinium-234. Here's another problem. What nuclear particle is emitted when uranium-238 forms thorium-234? Take the same approach. The left side, the superscripts, so up to 238. And on the right side, there's 234 plus some number, which must equal 2238, and that is going to be 4. And in our subscript, it's 92 on the left side which must equal 92 on the right side. And on the right side we have 90 plus, it's going to have to be a 2 here. So, we're going after a nuclear particle. So, the nuclear particle that has a mass number of 4 
an atomic number of two is an alpha particle. So the answer to the question would be an alpha particle. Here's another problem. Nitrogen 14 plus a neutron yields carbon 14 plus some unknown particle. Now we need to identify what this unknown particle is. Take the same approach. The sum of the superscripts on the left side is 15. That is 14 plus 1. So that must equal the sum of the superscripts on the right side, which is 14 from carbon 14. And this here must be 1. The subscripts on the left side are 7. That is, comes from 7 plus 0. And that must equal to the subscripts on the right side. Which in this case is 6 plus 1. So the identity of our X, in this case, is going to be a proton. Here's a final problem. Identify x. Now this is a little bit more complicated in that we have coefficients in front of our particles. And treat those coefficients just like you would in a regular chemical equation. The approach though is still the same. The sum of the superscripts on the left side is 238. And that must equal the sum of the superscripts on the right side. In this case, 6 times 0, or 6 zeros, is just 0. And here we have 8 times 4, which is 32, plus, in this case, if you subtract 32 from 238, you'll determine that this needs to be 206. Now, on the subscripts on the left side, there's 92. And on the right side, there's six negative ones. So this negative six plus, in this case, this is 16 plus the unknown, or if you do the math, you'll determine that this needs to be 82. Well, there's no particle that has 82 protons, but there is a particular isotope that does. And this, if you look up in the periodic table, 82 is associated with lead. So the identity of X, in this case, is going to be lead 206. Again, reminder, this is the mass number, this is the atomic number. The atomic number comes from the periodic table.